Update, Portugal Forest Fires Kill 62 Near Coimbra A catastrophic forest fire in Portugal has claimed at least 62 lives, officials say. Most died while trying to flee the Petrajal Grand Area, 50 kilometers, 30 miles, southeast of Coimbra, in their cars, according to the government. Several firefighters are among the more than 50 people injured. Unfortunately this seems to be the greatest tragedy we have seen in recent years in terms of forest fires, said Prime Minister Antonio Costa. The death toll could rise further, he said. The authorities have declared three days of national mourning, starting on Sunday. Secretary of State for the Interior Jorge Gomez said that 30 of those who died were found inside cars, with another 17 next to the vehicles, on one road leading on to the IC8 motorway. Another 11 died in a village next to the motorway, Mr Gomez said. Media in Portugal said the fire is no closer to being contained despite about 600 firefighters working to put it out. Among the dozens of people injured was an eight-year-old girl with burns found wandering alone close to the fire, the Crio do Mana newspaper reported. Six firefighters are seriously wounded, national broadcaster RDP said, and two are reported missing. The Crio do Mana warned that many areas hit by the fire had not yet been reached by authorities, so the death toll was likely to increase. About 60 forest fires broke out across the country overnight, with close to 1,700 firefighters battling them across Portugal. The flames spread with great violence on four fronts near Petrajal Grande, Mr Gomez said. Spain has sent two water bombing planes to help tackle the fires, and the European Union is coordinating an international firefighting and relief effort. It is not yet known what caused the fire. However Mr Costa said thunderstorms could have been one possible cause. Portugal has been experiencing a heat wave, with temperatures of more than 40 C, 104 F, in some areas. This is a region that has had fires because of its forests, but we cannot remember a tragedy of these proportions, Valdemar Alves, the mayor of Pedrajal Grande, was quoted as saying by the Associated Press Agency. I am completely stunned by the number of deaths. We have had large-scale fires before over the past couple of decades, this year is not unusual in that respect, but it is certainly unusual to have so many fatalities in one place. Portuguese officials are visibly shocked. There were very particular circumstances with the lightning strikes here, this fire started with a dry lightning strike. There has been rainfall elsewhere but there was no rain there and this is a heavily forested area. Getting it under control depends not only on temperatures, which do seem as though they will be high, but on the wind above all. It is very much in the hands of Mother Nature.